Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Rachel Went Shopping. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Rachel. On my channel, we talk about all things shopping addiction, but especially with a focus on luxury. And if you love Louis Vuitton, then you are gonna love it here. Today, I have a interesting video for you, which is an item that I actually picked up in 2021 that I have not been able to film and show you yet, but I think it is a unique piece that I have not seen a lot of videos on. So I wanted to make this video for you today. It's not really an unboxing, but it's more of a reveal. So today I will be showing you the Louis Vuitton Cyclone sunglasses from Virgil Abloh's men's collection. So if you're interested in seeing which colorway of the Cyclone sunglasses I picked up and what I think about them, how they look on me, then you're going to want to keep watching. Virgil Abloh reinterpreted a older pair of Louis Vuitton sunglasses that were actually called the Bindi. They were released in fall winter 2006 and he launched this new pair which were renamed the Cyclone in I believe it was fall winter 21 but correct me if I'm wrong. The original two colorways that were released in this style were a black and gold style and then a green marbleized style with silver hardware. All right, let me go ahead and show them to you first and then I'll tell you a little bit more about the details. So Louis Vuitton sunglasses come in a slim rectangular box like this that has a pullout and then you have the sunglass case inside, which is black. It comes with this Karen instruction manual. I believe that this is a legal requirement because I do have some experience with sunglass production. And interestingly enough, they are considered a medical device and they are very regulated. So a lot of the stuff that's included in these packets that you get with sunglasses are legal labeling requirements. So it will tell you that it's manufactured with these compliance regulations that are required. And then it gives you some cleaning instructions. So the model code is indicated on the inside temple, uh, starting with the letter Z followed by four numbers, which I will read to you. And then a letter which indicates the size, which is either W for Western, E for Eastern or U for Universal. So I will show that to you because it's a little bit more information. So you've got this black, I believe it's a faux leather box, but I don't know for sure. So it says Louis Vuitton on the outside. It has this microfiber lining where it also says Louis Vuitton. And then it'll come in a pouch with the blue drawstrings and it says Louis Vuitton. And then, oh my gosh, these are so cool. So you've got the LV on the side there, the logo in the center with the four crystals. I'll talk you through the details. The interior there, it says Louis Vuitton made in Italy. And then on this side, it has the style number. So it says, Z1547W, which means that it is a Western nose bridge sizing. So they do Western nose bridge, which is more common for USA. And then they do Eastern nose bridge, which is more common for the facial structure of Eastern regions. These are called the Cyclone. They're in the color black. And you've got the tag, which has a QR code here that comes on all of the sunglasses. I think if you scan that, it just takes you to the Louis Vuitton website. So you guys wanna see what they look like on my giant head. <laughs> my God. So these are like super flashy, super cool guy. I mean, this is a preschool pickup line vibe. If I've ever seen one, what do you guys think? So. Let me tell you a little bit about, here's what they look like on top of my head. I have a giant head and not all sunglass styles fit me. I prefer very large sunglass styles. I love the millionaire sunglasses, but they just do not look good on me because they're too slim. So when I saw these come out, I thought that they would be perfect and I was very happy that they fit my face. Let me actually tell you how big my head is for science because I have a huge head, around 23 inches, just in case you have a big head and you wanna compare it. 
So these do fit my face, which I'm super excited about. I mentioned the style number, which I will put up on the screen. These were very expensive. They retailed for $855, which is a lot of money for a pair of sunglasses. They are a reinterpretation of a 2006 style called the Bindi. I'll put a picture of the original style up on the screen. I like these. I think they're much more modern and updated. They feature an exaggerated frame with an angular, lens and a deep beveled front. The monogram flower. Hope I didn't get fingerprints all over it. The monogram flower signature inspired by the original version is reinterpreted with light reflecting crystals for a glamorous finish. These are black acetate frames. Acetate is a material that is commonly used in sunglasses. They have black tinted lenses. This pair features gold color hardware. The two colorways that came out when this style launched were the black with gold and then the uh, green marble with silver. Honestly, I could not decide between the two, but I felt like this was a little more classic and I gravitate towards gold hardware, so I did end up going with the black. The four crystal elements in the middle there are Swarovski crystals. It also features these gold studs on the front. There is a Louis Vuitton etching in the upper corner there on the lens if you can see the branding. Then there is the Louis Vuitton initials on the arms of the sunglasses and up near the hinges. They offer 100% UV protection and it says 23% transmittance filter category two. Which if you look back at the booklet, filter category two is general purpose sunglasses. So good protection against sun glare and good UV protection. Not suitable for driving at night or under dull light conditions. If you wanna compare the size of these to a pair of sunglasses that you have at home to see if they will fit your face, they are supposed to be six inches across, which I will confirm for you. Yes, they are exactly six inches across and then they should be 2.4 inches high and they are 2.4 inches high. So if you wanna compare them to your favorite sunglasses at home, you can use those measurements to do so. It is difficult to shop for sunglasses online if you can't go in and try them on at store, but there is a pretty easy return process. I purchased these online. I love sunglasses. This is my first pair of Louis Vuitton sunglasses. I am interested in the aviators. I'm also interested in the LV mask, clash mask. I don't remember, I'll put them up on the screen. But I have to make sure they're big enough to fit my face. I prefer uh, sunglasses with adjustable nose pads, but I gravitate towards the acetate ones. I always end up buying them. And then I hate like when it's really hot out and my nose gets sweaty under there. Tell me if you know what I'm saying. I feel like I look like a hip hop artist. <laughs> okay, so when I tried these on initially, I was worried that they would look trashy. <laughs> so I think it depends how you style them. You have to make sure you wear them with the right outfit. I didn't want to look like old Jersey Shore Snooki days, no offense to Snooki but I want to make sure that they look modern and elevated. I still love them because I love big sunglasses. Tell me what you guys think in the comments if you think I'm absolutely ridiculous, if you hate these, if you love them. I do think they are a part of Virgil Abloh history at Louis Vuitton. He reinterpreted the millionaires. Then he brought us these Cyclone sunglasses in addition to some other sunglass styles. I love them all. I love sunglasses. I used to have a major problem over buying sunglasses. I've actually slowed down and I'm going to be going through them and selling a lot of them because they're old styles now. So I'm sort of like re-upping myself with a new collection. What do you think? Do you think that I can wear these to drop my son off at preschool or do you think I'm crazy? The Cyclone sunglasses are releasing in a lot of new colorways in the upcoming collections. There is clear with clear lenses. There is purple. There is, I think maybe like a white, marble colorway. I'll put some of the colorways up on the screen while I'm talking. So that is what I wanted to share with you though about the Cyclone sunglasses from the perspective of somebody that has a giant potato head and prefers giant mask-like sunglasses. I think these are a really cool fashion statement piece. Tell me what you guys think down below in the comments if you think these are nuts. 
I would love to hear your guys' opinions. Thank you so much for watching today's quick video on the Cyclone sunglasses. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more content like this. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.